Welcome to PsyOps by CyberSpots. PsyOps is a platform for security orchestration and automated response, which allows your analysts to use the tools present in your security stack with improved efficiency and effectiveness. In other words, we help them to do more work in less time. Let's see how it all works. We begin at the PsyOps dashboard screen. PsyOps dashboards give you access to at-a-glance information about the current state of your SOX workload, as well as time series data and statistics, which can give valuable context to investigations. Let's take this threat summary dashboard as an example. In the first row, we have two graphs, respectively showing the users and assets which are associated with the most alerts. A spike in either of these charts can suggest that a particular user or host may be compromised, or at the very least warrants attention from the security team. Beneath the user and asset charts is a graph of incidents over time, organized by incident type, as well as statistics around the mean time to respond and the number of overdue incidents, both for the last month. When a spike appears on the incidents over time graph, it can be investigated through the context of relevant system or software changes around that time to help determine the root cause. The third row in the dashboard shows the number of incidents assigned to each analyst, the total number of unresolved incidents, organized by severity, and the number of unresolved incidents of each incident type. These statistics give visibility into who is handling what and who can potentially be assigned to any new tasks which may arise. Finally, the bottom row of the dashboard displays average incident response timings at the incident phase level over the past 10 days. Now let's see how this all ties together. In this example, I have received a potential malware alert from Fortisim. In the detail view for this alert, I can see which of my IP addresses was targeted. I also see the source IP address and the file hash of the potentially malicious file. I first want to determine if I know anything about the file which was flagged. In the tab section of my alert, I can navigate to the indicators tab, and there I see an indicator matching the file hash which was detected. I can immediately see that this indicator is marked as malicious. Clicking on the indicator, I am taken to its own detail view, where I can see the threat intelligence scores which led to its being marked as a malicious hash. If I navigate back to the alerts view, I can also see that an incident record was automatically generated for this alert as a result of the alert having malicious indicators. The incident record looks similar to its associated alert, but with a couple of extra features. The incident has an additional tab for attachments, where an analyst can supply images, documents, PCAP files, or any other useful files to have on hand when referencing the incident. There is also a notable audit log tab, which shows every modification to this incident since its creation. These modifications are logged whether they are made manually by a user or automatically as part of a playbook execution. In this case, since the source IP address and file hash were both found to be malicious, I want to take remedial actions to block both of them in FortiGate. I can do this by selecting each of their indicators from either my alert or my incident view, and then executing the appropriate block playbook against them. It may also be wise to have the affected machine quarantined until it can be re-imaged. Isolating the host can be accomplished by selecting the host from my Alert or Incidents Related Assets tab and executing the appropriate playbook against it. Once the host is quarantined, I can create a task to have it re-imaged. When the task is completed, it can trigger another playbook to remove the host from its isolated state. And there you have it. We have ingested an alert from Fortisim, invested its indicators, escalated it to an incident, and taken remedial action in FortiGate, all from within the PsyOps interface. Stay tuned for additional videos where we will dive into how this workflow and others 
can be built in our Playbook engine and how the module views and dashboards can be customized to fit your needs.